Dear God, I kneel before you today as your child. My father was a preacher who dedicated his life to you. His father was a preacher, and so was his father, back for seven generations. My mother's father was a preacher, so were her two brothers. When I was a child, I witnessed to your grace and to your salvation. My father named me Elizabeth, which means consecrated to God. And I was consecrated to you, as Abraham consecrated Isaac, as Jephthah consecrated his daughter. But I have broken your laws, O Lord. I have committed many sins which are punishable by death. In Deuteronomy 17.22, you condemn to death those humans who are not Jewish. I am guilty, O Lord. In Deuteronomy 21.18, you condemn to death children who do not obey their parents. I am guilty, O Lord. You condemn to death those of your children who eat lobster. I am guilty. You condemn to death those who gather firewood on a Sunday. I haven't done that yet, O Lord, but I confess that I really want to. That reminds me of the capital offense in Leviticus 11.9. I'm not sure that I have officially cursed my father, so here it goes. Daddy, you are a sadistic, petty tyrant of a preacher man. You made my childhood a torture. I curse you, Daddy. Got that, God? Condemn me to death. Oh, yeah, and I forgot my favorite reason for you condemning me to death. I have repeatedly and with great pleasure committed thousands of homosexual sex acts. Bring down your fire, O oh Lord. But... You could technically forgive me for all those sins. Well, after my death by stoning, of course. And I'm a lawyer, so I don't want to give you the option of letting me off on a technicality. There is one unforgivable sin, and that is blasphemy. So God, with a pure and earnest heart, I say to you, you are an abomination. You cause wars. You oppress women. You destroy people's rationality. You destroy their psyches. I deny you, I deny Jesus Christ, I deny the Holy Spirit. Get thee behind me, God, because from the moment I first denied you, I began to heal. Get thee behind me, God, because since I've accepted that I'm an ordinary human animal who will simply die one day, I have begun to love my earthbound life and to find joy. I have cut your shackles, God, and I'm creating my own meaning my own morality, and my own love. Amen.